Okay, so this is the TID Radio H8 GMRS radio. Uh, you can get this online for a very good price. Uh, I got mine off of Amazon. And it is a uh, Bluetooth radio. It has Bluetooth capability that you can use to program it with. It has GMRS frequencies built in from channels 1 through 30. And it can receive on the 2 meter band. It can receive on 440 or the 70 centimeter band as well as on the weather radio frequencies. Those are, uh, uh, the NOAA frequencies are uh, pre-built into it. So I'll go ahead and power it on. And you can see that's one of the GMRS frequencies, 462.675. So you can also get an app to help program the radio with. Uh, make sure you have Bluetooth capability on your smartphone, as well as the uh, BL button here for Bluetooth on the radio. But when you try to program it through the radio, you can't program it to transmit out of band. You can program it to receive, but you try to program it to transmit outside of the GMRS, the app will block you. But if we go here and we go into VFO mode. Channel mode. Frequency mode. All right, so now we're in frequency mode. And I've got 146.52 in there. So what you have to do is program it. So I'm going to go to the menu. And actually, first thing I'm going to do is uh, actually exit out of here. So I'm going to put in a repeater frequency on two meters. One, four, six, six, two, five. Okay, so I know that this is a local repeater. Now, if I try to key up on it, it's just it's going to block me out. Or if if you're in VF or uh, memory mode, it'll tell you cancel. So. We go to the menu. menu. Start going through the different menu options. You got your transmit power. Uh, you want to set it for wide bandwidth. Okay. I know the CTCSS is 123. No, actually, no, it's 118 on this repeater. Option 24, that's the offset, and I've got it set for six, uh, 600 kilohertz, standard on two meters here in the uh, uh, U.S. You can change it if, if, you, if it's all zeros, if you just go 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, it'll fill up the rest. Confirm. All right, then I'm going to go back to 23, I believe. Yep, the direction. So the direction can be minus, positive, or plus or none. If it's none, it's simplex, plus is positive, minus is negative offset. This repeater is negative offset. Confirm. All right, I'll go through the, and the memory channel that you want to plug, plug it into. So I'm going to choose 31. The first 30 are pre-programmed with the GMRS uh, and FRS frequencies in there. So I'm going to put it in here. I'm just in, you can choose up to, I think, 200 memories. Confirm. So now it's going to be on channel 31. So I'm going to exit out. Now I'm going to go to the memory oh, mode. Okay. And there you see 146.625 in channel 31. If I key up the radio, this is K4HSM. So now your GMRS radio can transmit on two meters. Make sure you have the proper antenna that does dual band. So we're going to go. Four, four, three, three, zero, zero. Okay. So again, can't do it, especially in VFO mode. You have to have this programmed into a channel for it to work. Menu. Go back to the memories or to the menu rather. Now let's go to the offset. Now we're going to go 
five megahertz, zero five, whoops, oh, 24, okay, menu, zero five, zero, all right, so now it's five megahertz offset. And we're going to change the direction to plus. Confirm. And we're going to change the memory to 32. Confirm. All right. Now we're going to go back to memory Final mode. Code. This is K4HSM. We can now use a GMRS radio to talk on 2 meters and 440.